Hello everybody, this is Kaz from kazprints.com and I'm here to give you some Scrivener tips. Scrivener automatically creates backup copies of your projects to your hard drive. In this video I'm going to show you how to find your backups and manage them and how to redirect them to backup in the cloud for extra security. When you open a new project in Scrivener, it will save to wherever you selected in this Where drop-down menu. For now, I'll put it on the desktop. I'll do a bit of work on it. And then close it and it has automatically saved to my desktop. I'm going to move it to a folder buried several layers deep on my hard drive according to its content. If you're on a Mac, it's always a good idea to have your path bar visible in your finder to make finding your files easier. On Windows, you'll see the path in the bar at the top here. So I'll just drag the new project into this folder and now it will always save to this location and you can open it from there. Even though you end up with multiple Scrivener files saving to multiple different folders on your hard drive, when you close any project, Scrivener will create a separate backup file for it in a dedicated backup folder on your hard drive. So let's go and find out where that is. If you're on a Mac, go to Scrivener, Preferences, and open up the Backup tab. If you're on Windows, go to File, Options, or hit F12. If you're still using Scrivener 1, go to Tools, Options, or hit the F12 key. Then open the Backup tab. The settings are the same as for a Mac, so I will continue showing you on the Mac interface. Here, where it says Backup Location, you can see the path to your backup folder. You can also access it directly if you click on Open Backup Folder. You'll be taken directly to the folder where Scrivener is storing your backups, and you can track the folder's path in the path bar. Now in the event that something has gone terribly wrong with the version of a project that you're currently working on, you can open an earlier version of your project from there. I'm going to show you how to do that in the same video, but first let's pop back into the backup pane to take a look at how you can adjust your backup settings to suit the way you like to work. You should definitely turn on automatic backups. Then decide whether you want to back up on opening a project or closing a project. I'm going to choose to back up every time I close a project. That means the moment I close this particular project, the project saves to the place I have stored it on my hard drive. And Scrivener also saves a zipped file to the backup location, which I can access anytime by clicking on the Open Backup folder. You can even back up with each manual save. I don't ever save manually because Scrivener saves automatically every couple of seconds. But you may have occasions where you want to manually save and back up without closing your project, in which case this might come in handy. And it is advisable to back up before syncing with mobile devices. It's also best to compress automatic backups as zip files. Even though this takes longer because Scrivener has to collect and assemble all the files pertaining to a project and then compress the project, the resulting zip files take up less space and are less susceptible to the kind of damage that can occur when transferring files. Adding dates to your backup file names makes them easier to organize. Decide how many backups you want to retain. This depends on how you work. If you are likely to change your mind radically and want to go back to something you did six months ago, keep many more versions, but most people stick to around five. Now this backup location is fine if you're in the habit of backing up your entire computer frequently in case of fire, theft or just plain computer crash. 
But there is another way to safeguard your work and add some excellent functionality to your work process at the same time. You can back up your project to a place that lets you store your documents online in the cloud so that you can access them from anywhere in the world that has internet connectivity on any of your devices that have Scrivener installed or work with Scrivener. I'll choose Dropbox because it works well with Scrivener and the first two gigabytes of storage space, which is plenty for most Scrivener users, is free. Even though it's in the cloud, you can make it private and secure, sharing files only with people you give permission to. If you've backed up your projects to Dropbox and your computer crashes or is stolen, any of your backed up files can be retrieved via another computer simply by logging into your Dropbox account and downloading the zipped backup file to whatever computer you're currently using. You only need one Dropbox account and you register all your computers and devices to that same account. So if you have Scrivener downloaded on your Mac as well as your PC or on your desktop as well as your iPad, you can share files between them. To open a Dropbox account, on your favorite web browser, search for Dropbox. I always ignore anything with an advert icon and what I'm looking for is the official dropbox.com link. On the Dropbox home page, sign up for a free account at once or browse through all the information on how to get the best out of Dropbox. How to use Dropbox on the go to all your devices, how to share large files with people even if they don't have Dropbox, how to manage your photos or slides, and most importantly for us, never lose a file again, and then sign up at the bottom of the page. Enter your name, email address, and a password, and then agree to the Dropbox terms. You can read the terms via this link. You will either see the Dropbox installer begin to download in your footer bar or you'll see this download Dropbox button. Click on it to begin the download. And it's just downloading, but if anything goes wrong, hit this restart download link. Open the drop down menu and select show in finder. On Windows, this will say show in folder. This will take you directly to a folder with the installer highlighted. It will look like this on Windows. Double click on the installer and follow the prompts for installing Dropbox. You'll be asked if you trust this website. Click on open. Dropbox will begin to install and it may take a while. Once it's done, you can delete the Dropbox installer. Note that Dropbox will automatically add itself to your Favorites tab on Mac and your File tab on Windows. On Mac, Dropbox will also have added a quick access icon at the top here where you will see a spinning circle showing whenever Dropbox is busy synchronizing with your computer. On Windows, you can see when your computer is syncing right inside the file menu. Once it has finished synchronizing, the circle will disappear. Click on the Dropbox icon to bring up the Dropbox menu and you can also open your Dropbox folder by clicking on this little folder icon. You may have a couple of folders in there already, like the Getting Started instructions. I have placed all my Scrivener transactions out of the way into a temporary folder so that I can show you what this looks like if you start from scratch. This other folder contains any material too large to share with someone in an email like videos or books. What you want to do here is right click and create a new folder for Scrivener backups. I'll call mine Scrivener backups and wait a moment for it to move into alignment. Back inside your Scrivener project, go to Scrivener, Preferences, and open the Backup tab. We want to redirect our backups here where it says Backup Location. 
Don't click on this button, which will take you to your current backup location. This time, click on Choose. In the Choose Backup Folder pane, select Dropbox from your favorites. Then select the Scrivener Backups folder you created and click on Open. You'll be taken back to the Scrivener Options menu where you will see the backup location has changed to reflect your new Scrivener Backups folder within your Dropbox folder. Now my project will automatically back up to Dropbox as soon as I close it. But I just want to show you that if for any reason you want to back up halfway through a task without closing your project, you can also go to File, Backup, Backup Now. At first you'll see the spinning circle in the Dropbox icon in your header bar for a while, depending on how many changes you made to the project in this session. And as soon as the circle disappears, you know your project has backed up and synchronized with Dropbox. Scrivener has saved the project to its original folder on my desktop and also created a zipped backup in my Dropbox folder, which I can access via my Favorites menu. And if I look inside my Scrivener Backups folder, I will see my zipped backup there. But what if your computer is hacked or stolen or just plain crashes? You can reinstall your Scrivener software on a new computer using the license number and serial number you used when you first bought Scrivener. If you have lost it, contact Tech Support and they will retrieve it for you. Open up a new Scrivener project. If you look inside the Backup tab in your Preferences menu, you'll see that the options have reverted to the Scrivener defaults when you reinstalled it. Go online and find Dropbox.com. On the Dropbox homepage, click on Sign In. Fill in your details and click on Sign In again. You'll find your Dropbox unchanged with all your Scrivener files as you left them before your mishap. Open the smiley face drop down menu and click on install. And now you install Dropbox in the same way you installed it on your old computer. Download. Dropbox begins to download the installer to your new computer. Once it's done, open the installer and follow the prompts for installing Dropbox exactly the same way you installed it on your original computer. Double click on the installer, double click on the icon, wait for Dropbox to download and then close the installer and send it to the trash. Once it's installed, Dropbox will automatically be added to your favorites in the binder. I already had it there because I'm just showing you the steps and not actually installing Dropbox again. If you click on the new Dropbox folder, you will see exactly the same data you had on your lost computer with your Scrivener Backups folder intact. Back in Scrivener, reopen your Preferences menu. First, customize your preferences. Then, in the Backup Location box, click on Choose, which takes you back to the Choose Backup Folder pane. Here you select your Dropbox folder and then Scrivener Backups folder and click on Open. As before, you will see that your projects are going to back up to Dropbox, Scrivener Backups. Now let's go and open one of the projects that was previously backed up in my Dropbox account from my old computer. Instead of opening up the latest backup file, it's not a bad idea to duplicate it just in case something goes wrong. Then drag the duplicate onto your desktop and unzip it. Mac people, double click on the file, then double click on the .scriv file to open it from there. Windows people, right click on the zip file and choose Extract All from the drop down menu. Then double click on the .scriv file to open it from there. If you make a habit of switching between platforms, you can save a project to Dropbox in the first place instead of saving it to a folder on your computer. 
then you'll be able to access it from there no matter which of your computers you are working on. First, open your Dropbox folder from your favorites menu on one of your computers and create a folder for Scrivener projects. Wait for it to sync with your computer. Now I'm going to add it to my favorite sidebar and you'll see why in a minute. Don't worry, it's still in the Dropbox folder, just with a link in the favorite sidebar. Then, say I start off on my desktop computer and I open a Scrivener project to write a new book. For demo purposes, I'll call it New Book. Now, instead of saving it to my desktop or a writing folder, I'll have Scrivener Projects as an option in the drop-down menu and I'll save it there. Then I'll do a bit of work on the project and when I go to close it, it saves a zipped backup to Dropbox in the Backups folder as well as the project itself in the Projects folder. Notice that both folders have the blue spinning circle indicating that Dropbox is busy syncing. Once it's finished syncing, if I look inside the Backups folder, I'll see the latest zipped backup, as well as the project we backed up previously. And in the Projects folder, I'll see only the new book project that we just chose to save to Dropbox. Once the syncing is complete, I shut down my computer and pop down to the corner coffee shop to continue my writing on my laptop, which is connected to my same Dropbox account. All I have to do is open Dropbox from my favorites on my laptop and continue to work on the project. So that's how to integrate Scrivener with your Dropbox account. But before I go, I just want to mention a couple of things about switching between computers. The first is that you must never open the same project on two computers at the same time, because that might corrupt your files. And the second is that you must always make sure Scrivener has finished saving and Dropbox has finished syncing before you shut down your computer or move away from your Wi-Fi connection, as you would if you were working in a coffee shop. If you've not allowed Dropbox to capture all your changes, you could end up with an incomplete sync, causing files to be missing from your project. Remember, you can tell when Dropbox has finished syncing when the blue spinning circle is replaced with a white check in a green circle. In the unlikely event that Dropbox or any other cloud storage location you decide to use goes out of business, don't worry, Scrivener will alert you if it's unable to back up to your chosen location. Right, now that you know how to back up your project so that you never lose your work, we can both breathe easy. If you need a step-by-step -step course showing you how to do everything in Scrivener, you'll find a link in the description below. And don't forget to like and share this video if you think your friends will benefit from learning this. And subscribe if you just want to know when I post more Scrivener tips.